Ready? Is good? Yep. All right, go ahead. So we'll start off with just kind of the how will the play calling duties sort of be, be distributed among the guys this week? Coach Vellani, Coach McGuire uh, is going to take over the offensive play calling. Um, excited about that, excited about their, their growth, you know, because I've seen both of those guys really, you know, progress as the season is going on. It's more of a coordinator mindset and mode. So Clay has been calling most of the runs throughout the season anyway, and uh, I'm excited about Joel and his vision of the pass game is a little bit different than Eric's. And, you know, I'll be calling the defensive plays, and it'll be back to uh, where we were last year. So I, it's exciting. I'm. It's been fun for me the last couple of weeks just to get back in the grind and the game planning and the coaching and, and just really enjoy that phase of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll attack the game that way. It, it was good. I mean, we're, we're, I'm wearing a lot of different hats right now. So even during you know some team sessions, I'm more with the defense right now. I ironing out some some learns and some things that we need to do. But I felt the energy good was good. I thought the focus was good. I thought our guys came here ready to get the work in before we have fun this afternoon. You know, I thought we talked about that. And as a team this morning, when we're out here, you know, the standard is the standard. And we got to go meet that for everything that we need to do. And tomorrow morning, we'll get the learns from this tape, get better, and, uh, you know, attack Thursday. Coach, on the defensive side, when you look at President State's offense, and specifically the kind of the quarterback, Jay Kaner, what comes to mind? Well, I think you said it, Hayner. I mean, he's an NFL quarterback. He can make all the throws. You know, I think you see the difference when he's been in there versus when he's been out. So, uh, you know, I think five and one are explosive players that can play in any league in the country, and, and the tailback's good. And I think the old line has been solid and kept him upright for the most part. So, explosive down the field, multiple, many shifts, trades, motions that, that we just got to make sure we're aligned. And if we're aligned and communicating, then we got a chance. Obviously, their uh, coach, Kevin DeBoer, that whole staff went to Washington, and that was your last opponent. Yeah. So, how similar do you kind of see these two teams right now? I think there's definitely similar elements to it. You know, I, I think they're a little bit more RPO in the base down packaging, but you can see both teams want to go down the field and the third down schematics are very similar. So, you know, that's at least to carry over for our guys from that last week to this quick bowl turnaround. Coach, what does it mean to have Dayon here helping out in any way you can? What are your thoughts on Coach Dayon? <laughs> Coach Dayon, you know, we still got some work to do with Coach Dayon. I think player Dayon is the right mode for him right now, but someday uh, he's going to be out there and impacting. You know, he's just his energy has been infectious, and as you guys have gotten to know Dayon as we've gone throughout the year, he loves ball. He loves being around his team. He's an amazing leader. And I said this, the impact Dayon's had in our program in 11 months is hard to really put into words. So to do that in quick order says a lot about his character. Has there been any change in Renard's status since we last talked about him? No, I mean, Renard's getting closer uh, to being at full strength. I just think it's something that's, you know, at this point, his career is not worth the risk of putting him back out there. And, you know, he's, uh, he's done an amazing job being a leader throughout all this. And, you know, he's, he's getting back healthier and, and almost full strength. How much do you see Cam's uh, role kind of being sort of a leech-esque quarterback and kind of having the formations but making a lot of those, those checks? Well, I think those are, you know, things that we've done throughout our offense really all year. You, know, you see him checking a lot of different things as we've gone. Now we're just going to rely on him more on what he's seeing kind of in and out of series and, and giving him some sets to get us in the best available things. I mean, he's ready for it. I mean, he's been in this offense now for three years and, uh, there's maturity to Cam and what he does each and every day in his preparation. So he loves those challenges. You know, you come with him to those things. He's a competitor. He, he wants that weight on his shoulders. So uh, I fully expect him to be ready in, in that realm and, and get us into some really good looks. I saw a picture that the LA Bull shared last night of you and Coach Ted for yeah. that kind of your first meeting. And what are your impressions of him watching from afar? It was, it was our first meeting, but... Uh, you know, in person, you know, I was at the University of Wyoming for three years, so I got a chance to go against Coach Tedford and, you know, just have a lot of respect for him. The fundamentals, the toughness of his football teams, you know, how multiple they are, and I think how well coached they are from top to bottom, offense, defense, and special teams. So um, it's just it's just a good experience, you know, to get this reward of playing in a bowl game, I think is something special that, you know, we've been talking a lot to our guys that enjoy it, live in this moment. You know, we have 13 seniors that, you know, who knows if they'll put the pads back on. So enjoy these times, enjoy these moments together, and, you know, it's going to be a heck of a game against Fresno. i got to ask, you know, how, 
How surprising was it was Morris's departure at that at that point in time? Yeah, I mean, I knew about it. You know, I think Eric does a good job of being very transparent. Um, you know, one thing that I didn't I didn't know. I, I think he just landed one of the best group of five jobs in the country. Okay, back home. Um, I'm so proud of Eric. I fully support him, Maggie, Jack, and George, and and what they want to do of advancing his career. And Eric has a head coach mindset that I've leaned on quite a bit, you know, through the last year. And I think we've built up a trust. So I'm excited for his family and what he's doing. And yes, it kind of came out of nowhere. And to be honest with you, every once in a while things happen for a reason. You know, on a day where Coach Leach passes, um, one of the biggest Leach disciples and protégés gets a, you know, a dream job, which I would, I would consider that a dream job for Eric. Uh, it's pretty special. You guys good? Thanks, Coach. Uh, thanks, thank everybody. Thank you very much.